Like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. We're sure you've heard myths and legends about pirate ships or ghost ships. Listening to the fantastic stories of the ship's voyages or even how they rise from the depths of the oceans may be fascinating and sometimes scary. But it's honestly a bit creepy to know that these ghost ships may actually exist. There are real-life cases of ships that went missing hundreds of years ago or were known to have sunk that returned to sail the seas. Some of them look as if they were merely abandoned by the crew, despite being lost for many years. And usually, the crews of these vessels have mysteriously disappeared, unknown to this day what happened to them. Let's explore some creepy sunken ship stories right now. Number 10. MV Hoyita Starting off our list, we have the infamous MV Hoyita, a vessel carrying only 25 people on a short voyage. The ship was supposed to sail from Samoa to Tokelau in 48 hours, provided weather conditions remain normal and favorable. But, by some unfortunate means, the ship disappeared. After a few days, it was clear something had gone wrong. When the ship failed to arrive to Tokelau, a search and rescue mission was carried out by the port. After a week, though, they hadn't found anything, so the mission was called off. However, over a month later, the crew of a different ship spotted the MV Hoyita on Fiji's coast, partially sunken. The the ship was in a terrible state, just a few hundred miles from Tokelau's port. There were bloody bandages retrieved, but to this day, no one knows what happened to the ship's captain and crew. It's a mystery why the crew abandoned the ship, where they went, or even if they had escaped and not drowned. Number 9. SS Valentia The SS Valentia was a ship designed for the simple transportation of people from one place to another. On a day like any other, she was supposed to carry over 100 passengers from San Francisco to Seattle. However, the day turned unfortunate as she started to fill with water due to a technical issue. In the tragedy that followed, many people lost their lives, though we only have an approximate number of over 100, as no firm figure was ever decided upon. The creepiest and weirdest part about the incident is that the ship was equipped with five lifeboats, but only four were found. It was 27 years later that the fifth lifeboat was discovered off British Columbia's coast, floating with no damage to it. It was empty too, but it's a mystery as to what happened to it, if anyone ever occupied it, and how it remained so perfectly well intact on the sea for so long. And if you ask about the SS Valencia herself, she was left drinking at the reef she'd struck, which is why she started filling with water in the first place. Number 8. The 12 Feet Boat In July 1975, Dutch singer Jan Adun decided to cross the Atlantic Ocean from west to east. He decided to do this all by himself himself, planning to set a world record by doing so. However, after less than a month after he'd embarked on his voyage, no one could get in communication via radio with him. And tragically, less than a year after he'd left, his boat was found in Ireland empty. Jana Dunn was nowhere to be found. As other artists of the time had faked their own deaths or even disappeared purposefully for real, many people thought he'd staged his own death too. They believed he'd set up the entire journey from the start to take his own life. Some also believe to this day that since he wasn't a trained sailor or captain, that he may have accidentally drowned or fallen off his boat. But no one knows for sure what really happened. In reaction to the tragedy, Jana Dunn's work did become quite famous through the years, adding on to his tragic backstory. Number 7. Zabrina The Zabrina had set out on a voyage from the United Kingdom to France, when, at some point, the ship was abandoned on the north coast of France, with everyone on board missing. As the ship had little to no damage done to it, it was even weirder that the crew and captain had seemingly vanished. Of course, people came up with all sorts of theories and conspiracies as to what must have happened, such as that the captain and crew might have been captured and transferred to a German U-boat, which was subsequently sunk. There's no proof of this or other theories, but finding an abandoned ship in sailing order with all humans aboard missing wasn't seen as mere coincidence. As this happened during World War I. Number 6. Orang Madan The Orang Madan was supposed to sail from Puerto Rico to China in 1940, 1947, or 1948. However, during June of that same year, a few ships around Indonesia received SOS calls from the Orang Madan. The SOS stated that all the crew members and the captain were dead. Then, another SOS received a bit later only said, I die. How creepy is that? When a ship finally located the 
Orang Medan, all people aboard were dead. What's even more horrific is that all the corpses had frightened expressions. We can only speculate over what happened on the Orang Medan that fateful day. The crew of the ship that discovered her were supposed to bring her back, but the ship then exploded and sank, with the wreck still undiscovered to this day. As expected, there's many theories concerning the ship, such as she may have been carrying explosives or nuclear weapons. Others believe the ship itself is only a myth, as there was never found any actual records of her existing. Unfortunately, though, we'll never know the truth. Number 5. The Hilma Hooker This ship has quite the history attached to it. Originally, she was used to smuggle illegal goods to many places. There was even a fake bulkhead attached to the ship to hide all the goods, enabling the captain and crew to smuggle them without being caught. But when the contents and purpose of the ship were discovered, the owners fled. They were never found. But with the owners gone, the Hilma Hooker sat at harbor, over time deteriorating as no one was maintaining her. Worried she'd sink at the docks and block traffic, she was towed to a nearby anchorage. There, she slowly turned into a wreck and then eventually sunk on her own. She was never retrieved, so she lies under the water to this day. Number 4. The Guianis D Originally, this ship sailed from Rijeka, Saudi Arabia being its destination. It was carrying a cargo of lumber, but along the way, the captain became distracted for just a few moments, which proved to be too long as the ship then crashed against a reef. With the ship sinking, distress calls sent out alerted a nearby Egyptian ship, which rescued the entire crew and captain. The Guianis G, however, couldn't be salvaged. These days, the eerie wreck lays 27 meters or 88.6 feet down in the sea. Corals cover the entire ship, with much of it undamaged and waiting to be explored more. But a rather creepy thing about this wreck is that the top half sunk in such a manner that, during good weather, it can sometimes be seen by nearby ships. Number 3. Nipo Maru First launched in 1936, the Nipo Maru was originally used to transport goods, such as fruit, from one place to another. A bit later on, though, it was also used to distribute clean water to different places. During one such delivery, the ship was bombed and subsequently sunk. It now rests under 353 meters or 160 feet of water, more famously known as the Million Dollar Wreck. She earned this title as she'd been carrying ammunition of many different types, in addition to mines, tanks, and other various types of machinery. She lays undisturbed just just as she had when she was sunk, with her expensive cargo with her. Many divers through the world still love to explore this million dollar wreck and marvel at her cargo. Number 2. SS Rio Grande For number 2, we have a ship that's the second deepest wreck that we're currently aware of. Only the USS Johnson lays deeper, as of this video. Honestly, this ship was operating during a time when ships most likely shouldn't have been, unless absolutely required. There were constant threats thanks to World War II. Naturally, most boats and ships on the seas at that time were defense boats. Both the Germans and Americans were constantly on the lookout for the other, in order to hide their positions and be the first to sink enemy boats and submarines. The SS Rio Grande, a German blockade gunner, became one of them. On February 19, 1941, a U-69 torpedoed her and she sank. She now sits at 5,762 meters, or 18,904 feet under the sea, and wasn't discovered until until November 28, 1996. When someone was using side-scanning sonar technology, they came across her. Two days after, Blue Water Recoveries, the company responsible for finding her, confirmed it was the SS Rio Grande by using a remotely operated vehicle. That's super creepy! Number 1. The Titanic When we think of words like ocean, sea, and ships, we can't help not thinking about the Titanic. It's known as one of the most tragic sinkings to have ever occurred. So many lives were lost, lives that could have been saved if not for possible negligence from the captain, crew, and even the ship builders. The Titanic lays roughly 3,840 meters, or 12,600 feet below, broken in half. Since her discovery 73 years after she sunk, many explorations have been carried out by professionals, and to this day, quite a bit of debris is still found, which is very creepy. Such artifacts include passenger luggage, perfume vials, wine bottles, and even children's porcelain dolls. These items really bring home how horrifying the tragedy was for those aboard. The reason these things are still so intact is because so far down in the ocean, 
oxygen, little oxygen penetrates, and that means everything takes a very long time to decay. Even still, some experts think we may still find human remains down there. No thanks. That is all for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Since you've watched this far, why not click on one of the two videos on your screen? See you there.